WPI is one of the first in the country that has uh, undergrad education for robotics, and so I came here to join that program. Currently, robots are very limited in kind of tasks they can do. In order to make a robot smarter, you need to know what the robot is feeling when it comes in contact with the world. When you have robots with more sensitivity, now you can do more dexterous tasks. You can feel what is happening. The robot will become more aware about its body. And so now we can do better space exploration, we can do better surgery, and we can do more complicated manufacturing products. The robot hand, and in general the, the limbs of a robot, they are designed to be very precise. And because of that, they have to be very rigid. When you have something that's very rigid, if you try to come in contact with, for example, a table, what you will do is you will get a stack. I designed a robot hand that has properties that are more similar to the human hand. The hand is a lot more flexible, so it can come in contact with objects and it doesn't damage the object or the hand itself. The same principles that were used on the fingers of the hand that are also used on the joints on the arms. The most important thing is sensing the contact. So I invented a new kind of tactile sensor that is inspired on the human skin. Learning from humans how they use the sensitivity that they have in order to accomplish more complicated tasks. In the same way that we can make robotic arms behave more like human arms using tactile feedback, we can feel the currents of the water and make submarines operate more like fish or we can feel the flow of the air and make airplanes operate more like birds. Developing this technology basically enables new platforms that now allows you to think differently about artificial intelligence.